I'll let you get back to work. Bye!
Hello. Hi, is this Savannah Woodham? Let me guess. You're that Nancy girl who's been driving my assistant to distraction and back this last week. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. I would. Now tell me what's so important that y'all ruined my perfectly good assistant. Since y'all been calling around, talking to him's been like talking to a rock. A rock that I'd pay too much money. I'm staying at the Rio Con Hie. Something really strange is going on here. Don't tell me a lie now. This a joke? No, I promise. It's the truth. I saw your book. I thought maybe you could help. Honey, whoever you are, my best advice to you is to pack your bags and head back to wherever it is y'all come from. I'm not leaving until I figure out what's really going on here. <sighs> there gonna be anything I can say that'll change your mind now? No, I'm going to get to the bottom of this with or without you. But I could really use your help. I've been a lot of places that say they haunt it, but none fit the ticket like that spooky old Rio Can he eh? I never got to finish up the chapter on the Rio Can like I was supposed to. Between us girls, I'm glad of that. You get much out of the family? Nothing too useful. Uh-huh. Tell you what. You end up following through with that bad idea of yours to stay at the Rio Can, and I'll see what help I can provide. But Nancy? What's that? Y'all be careful there now. You understand me? I will. I think I ran across a trick mirror here. Did it break? Yeah. How did you know? That's how you know it's a trick. Y'all know what the main difference between truth and illusion is in my line of work? What's that? Tom, an illusion can only last so long before it gives up its secrets. Now, I don't know exactly how that mill was fixed, but the fact that it broke means that whoever rigged it knew that if you examined it enough, you'd figure it out. So, it was broken so I couldn't figure out how it was faked. Exactly. That is, if it was a trick. Nancy, I can tell you how things might be faked. But I can't tell you if they were faked. You're the ones got to stand there and know how the room feels when these things happen. What's the story with your assistant, Logan? He's like my own little Georgia Bulldog. He can be a little aggressive sometimes, a little dopey at others, but always loyal. He's one of the good ones when you get right down to it. How long has he been working for you? Not long now. He started right after I switched my focus to tech reporting. Why did you change careers? It's a long story, but chasing's not the safest career there is. Ain't nothing shocking in that. I saw a really creepy, shadowy figure on my balcony. Do you think that could be faked? Course. Ain't nothing hard than that. Yeah? It's as easy as shadow puppets. All you need to be able to do is practice. In my experience, People like scaring people with shadows a lot more than ghosts do. Way I see it, if it's something a person could plausibly do, then there's a person behind it. If it's something a person can't do that's scaring you, well, y'all don't need me to finish that sentence. Can you tell me about the certificate you gave the Shimizu family? Oh, yeah, that... Now, before you go thinking I'm some sort of charlatan, I don't normally do things like that. In fact, I had those made up to give to kids who were feeling too scared to go to sleep at night. Why did you leave one here? I felt like I should leave them something. I don't usually leave a place without knowing what's really going on there. Honestly, I felt so bad about the whole situation. Do you know where I can get a copy of your book? I'm guessing you're looking for the ghost hunting book I wrote, but I can't help you there. I'm out of copies myself. To be honest, Nancy, I don't mind helping you. But this whole ghost thing is a phase I'd sooner put behind me. Why is that? Now, don't y'all worry about that now. Just a choice I made. There must be some reason. I understand you were pretty well known. <sighs> put it this way, Nancy. There are some jobs where being well-known makes for a dangerous life. Sometimes it's uh, smart to move on. Can you help me translate an article I found? No one else is willing to. Mm, sure. Leave it at the counter and I'll have Logan swing by to pick it up. 
I should go. Bye now. I have a delivery for you. Here. Thanks. Do you want to manage the Ryukon? Right now I have to, but it's not that simple. Why not? It just isn't. Hi. From what I understand, the Ryokan has quite the reputation for being haunted. It is true that we have the reputation. Has that been difficult for business? It is nothing you need to concern yourself over. Can you think of anyone who would stand to gain if the Ryokan went out of business? No one I know. We all depend upon the Ryokan. Even Yumi and Lentaro. What about someone else, on the outside? No, there's no one else. How does your grandmother feel about the Ryokan? It's her whole world. She loves it more than anything or anyone she's ever met. What does she think of Yumi not working here? It's a very sore subject for her. And honestly, I've heard too much about it already. What do you mean? Every day I'm here, making sure all is well, it would just be nice to hear her at least mention all of the work I do. Just once. I'm sorry this is nothing you want to hear about. Do you think Yumi is ever going to come back here to run the Ryokan? If she knows what's good for her. Why doesn't Yumi work here at the Ryokan? She's very... My mother used to call her a free spirit. But that's a nice way of saying that Yumi's selfish and doesn't want to help. Do you and Yumi get along? No. So I take it you're not very close. With us, the term isn't close. It's within striking range. So we both try to avoid that. Did you and Yumi ever get along? Of course, but really. She really, she was a very good big sister to have after what happened with our mother. But soon enough, she was back to being the selfish, manipulated brat she is today. She doesn't seem very bratty to me. She's nice. When she's using people to get what she wants, she must want something from you. I'll let you go. Bye. Logan here. Yes? Alright. 
Savannah wants me to translate that article for you. I don't know what it is you said to her, but whatever you did to get her to talk about that paranormal garbage, you need to knock it off. I can't promise that. You really don't get it, do you? This ghost stuff isn't a joke, especially not to her. Since I'm the one stuck picking up the pieces after she gets too wrapped up in one of her cases, I'm telling you, leave it alone for her sake and yours. What happened to Savannah? Why doesn't she work with paranormal cases anymore? It's not something she likes to talk about. I gathered that, but can you tell me? When we're traveling, I spend weeks with her just touring on buses, long plane flights. We talk a lot. I know everything about her childhood, her best friend's dog's name from when she was five, her favorite ice cream flavors. She's very chatty. Then what has she told you about? Nothing. Not a single word. I've asked, and when I do, she just goes quiet and excuses herself. She's never told me to stop bugging her about it, but I can tell that she wants to. That's why I don't want you bothering her about it either. Whatever happened when she was writing the second ghost book, it really got to her. Second ghost book? I wasn't supposed to mention that. It's a secret, and it's not done, so don't think you're going to get your hands on it. I don't even know if she still has the manuscript. She had me tell her publisher she burned it, but I don't know if that's the truth. I really need a copy of Savannah's book. Can you help me? Sure. Bookstores are a great start. Or the internet is helpful, but I'm really more of a brick-and-mortar person, honestly. I suppose you could also go the books on tape route. TV's Ralston Palpers does an excellent job with the text. Really makes it come alive. No, I meant, could you send me a copy? Oh, nope. But thank you for asking. I'll talk to you later. See you later. Better call it a night. Four is supposed to be an unlucky number here. I wonder if that's a coincidence. Wow, George wasn't kidding. This does look hard. <laughs> 